Hello, okay, today this is a, uh, we're gonna go over a procedure in Canvas in this tutorial in which we are creating an assignment uh, in Canvas within a class that actually links to um, an outside resource. So for instance, perhaps you are a SPED teacher and you um, have to teach a multiple number of classes and you have some of those classes in Apex. Um, and you want to assign something in Apex, but use Canvas as a sort of the platform to make the assignment known uh, to the student and to give them a, a link uh, to, uh, to Apex. Uh, I don't have access to Apex, so it's just a hypothetical. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I have uh, computer science students that I need to get onto uh, Code HS, which is also a uh, platform um, that's outside of Canvas and uh, that I'm going to be assigning students to do work in. So that's what I'm going to be using for this demo. So I'm going to go inside the class um, that I need to make the assignment for. And in this case, this is my game design class. So I'm going to click on the tile, the course name, and I've been using the course um, for a while, for the entire year. So that's why I have a lot of content populated. But let's go down and let's actually create a new module. Um, and uh, let's say that this is gonna be a module that I'm gonna to need to use with my students during uh, our public health crisis here. So um, I'm gonna call this um, code HS um, unit one, okay? So uh, I'm gonna, that, that module pops up at the very bottom of your list. Um, if you like, you can move it up. Um, I'm gonna move mine uh, and it gives me an option here you can move it top before after anyway I'm gonna move it to the top so it will spring back up here um, I'm not gonna publish it yet um, because I am not ready to share this with students this is just sort of a preliminary thing well, let's say the first thing um, the first assignment I want them to do involves getting to co code HS um, and completing some of the content in unit one in code HS so I'm gonna click plus I'm gonna create an assignment because it will be a graded assignment uh, it's a new assignment. I can't use any recycled assignments from before because this is brand new material. Um, I'm going to say um, uh, code, uh, let's see, let's say complete um, code HS modules 1.1 to 1.4. So I'm going to say, hey, I want you guys to complete um, these sort of lessons, these four lessons in code HS. And so I've named my assignment and you can see it pops up here. Now it's an empty assignment. In order to populate the assignment, we need to click on the assignment here, okay? So, um, um, and we hit edit in order to get in. Um, again, I'm not publishing this right now. I could publish it once I've completed the content. My module's not published, so students still won't see it until the module has been published. But, um, but let's say uh, here, let's go look at the Code HS. So Code HS um, is a, delivers assignments to students. Um, they join up um, similar to uh, something like Apex and probably some of the um, content that's been plugged in, Florida Virtual or um, on the CTE side of the house, e-learning, those kinds of things. And so the students might be asked to go interact with that content, complete stuff, um, and they, they launch sort of from Canvas and then um, the teacher can go to that resource and see if they've completed it and, and submit grades into Canvas. So you can launch them from Canvas, give them directions from Canvas, and grade in Canvas, even though they're using an outside resource like, in this case, Code HS. So here, let's say um, I'm looking at programming with Karel uh, um, and Unit 1 Video Game Design is what, um, what I'm looking at. And so um, I've selected that I would like them to complete lessons 1.1 through 1.4. So, um, and I can list these out, um, and I probably should actually list these out. I'm going to, um, in my, reconfigure my assignment here so that I could put, um, please log in to uh, code HS, and I'll put a link here um, to the, complete maybe I put navigate to the unit programming with Corel and finish 
lesson finish the lessons listed below all right so here 1.1 introduction to oops this is like a video that they can watch and then um, there's some real basic uh, commands that they learn how to do and then uh, Corel can't turn right this is where they learn how to um, create a function you have to look at all of this content um, and make sure it's the right sort of size chunk um, I might be overdoing it here a little bit but this is for a demo purpose I would probably actually back off and just have them do one point in fact well, let's do that let's say I want to go 1.3 um, that's probably a big enough chunk. Um, and then I usually do like a turn in um, uh, note to students in my Canvas assignment. So I say, no need to submit this in Canvas. Your instructor will check work directly in code HS. Um, Okay, so I'll do completion sorts of things. And so, um, you know, your point system's different than my point system probably, but um, but if I had them do this, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, 30 points and um, it is uh, it is a chunk of material to get through. So um, um, I would leave a submission to no submission uh, because they're not going to need to come back and put anything in Canvas. I will actually, as the instructor, go and look at Code HS and see that the work is completed. And then I'll come back and just punch um, in the grade. So that's why I put no submission here. If they are, if there's something they can complete, like say there's questions that are posted like on, an, on a Project Lead the Way curriculum, they have a number of readings and questions. Maybe you want them to submit the answers to Canvas um, because there's no way of doing that. But um, um, in Code HS, they're actually doing the work. It's stored there. I can see it as the instructor. And so there's really no reason to, for them to have a submission in Canvas. It's not a group assignment. I'm not requiring peer reviews. Um, I, in this case, at, at this point, I'm not ready to click sync to SIS, which is how it syncs to Q. Um, a little bit later, I might end up doing that. Um, I would give it a due date. My students don't start as an elective class until April 13th. So um, if this was the first assignment, I would be giving them hypothetically, you know, I might, I might have that due um, maybe on the 15th because I have office hours on the 16th and then we could talk about whatever we need to in office hours if they needed help getting through it. So maybe I put April 15th, good old tax day, although I think that's been moved. But um, And then here, like I said, I can save and publish this. It still won't be viewable to the students. Um, and the reason is because, um, because the module here is not published. So because this is a demo, I'm not gonna, and I'm not ready to roll this out yet, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that unpublished, but I'll probably publish all, all the assignments that I add. So hopefully that was helpful for you in terms of seeing how you would create a module, how you would create an assignment, and then direct your student to go to another learning platform such as CodeHS or Apex or eLearning or, um, or Project Lead the Way or anything along those lines um, to complete the work. But this creates the assignment in um, Canvas. One more thing I should show you is um, I'm going to... I'm going to, it's not published right now. I'm gonna temporarily publish this and go into grades. And so this is the Canvas grade book. And as you start building assignments, you will see, um, you will see assignments and you can see here, the complete code HS modules 1.1 to 1.3. It's out of 30 points. And I would go through and punch these in based on um, the, the students completing um, their work on another platform. So um, get back over. Okay, so um, I think that is uh, everything. Uh, give me a, a shout if you've got questions about um, any of the specifics um, or if this leads to other questions, uh, just let me know. We're getting close to 10 minute mark on the video. I like to keep them less than 10 minutes. So uh, I will um, reach out. Yeah, reach out if you've got any questions and um, I will be in touch.